Greetings and welcome to Internet Rock English classes. I hope you enjoy the experience. My name is Alexey Milinchuk, and today we'll continue looking at the so-called conditionals. As you may remember from the last class, there are four types of conditionals, and we have already discussed types 0 and 1. And today we will look at types 2 and 3. Shall we start? Just to remind you, conditional clauses have two parts in them, the if clause and the main clause. For example, if he comes late, we will miss the train. Type 2 conditionals are used to express an imaginary situation, contrary to facts in the present. It is also used to give advice. The if clause consists of if plus past simple or past continuous. The main clause has would, could, might in it plus bear infinitive. For example, if I saw a ghost, I would run away. In this case, I haven't seen a ghost, so it's untrue in present. Or, if I were you, I wouldn't go out late. In this example, it's an advice. Type 3 conditionals are used to express an imaginary situation in the past. They are also used to express regrets and criticism. The if clause consists of if plus past perfect or past perfect continuous. The main clause may have would, could, might, plus have, plus past participle. For example, if I had closed the window, we wouldn't have been robbed. But I didn't close the window, so it is an untrue situation in the past. If he hadn't been behaving so badly, well, the teacher wouldn't have punished him. In this case, it is used to express criticism. Here are a few more things that you need to know when using the so-called conditionals. In the IF clause of type 2 conditionals, we can use WERE instead of WAS in all persons. Like here, if I was WERE you, I would try harder. As long as providing or provided that can be used instead of IF. For example, as long as he is on time, we won't be late for the meeting. Or, we'll come by car, providing, or provided that dead lends us his. Another thing to consider is that we can omit if. When we omit if, should, were, and had, in past perfect, come before the subject. For example, if he should turn up, tell him to wait for me. Should he turn up? Tell him to wait for me. If I were you, I would speak to her. Were I you, I would speak to her. If he had known, he would have told us. Had he known, he would have told us. So, today we have looked at conditionals types 2 and 3. Next time, we will look at the use of wishes in the English language. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time and goodbye.